All right, good Friday morning. Tap, tap, tap. Make certain everything's working in here for right now. If you are just joining us, things are pretty quiet. Again, for the time being in the Mid-South area, we may be looking at some more problems heading our direction as we get into the rest of the forecast toward this next week. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is our weather overtime video weather blog for this morning. We're just not seeing too much of anything in the Mid-South that involves any problems out there, so good news on that. But we will be looking for more potential chances of rainfall coming up as we get into the near future, so stay tuned for more on that in just a little bit. Give me a second or two, and we'll get our Facebook friends in here to say a little bit more about what's going on. And so far, again, if you are just joining us, again, no major problems being seen so far across the Mid-South area. What's going on with Irma? We'll touch on that coming up here in just a little bit, and also give you a little bit more details as to your forecast into the course of the rest of the weekend. So as of right now, again, for the time being, things not any problem across the Mid-South area. And so again, we see again the uh, potential for less of anything in the way of interference uh, with Irma coming up anytime soon. Live and direct this morning, thanks for joining us on Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, keeping an eye on things. Current forecast information in the blue bar right here. Again, looking at my social media pages and more information about where you want to know about that, wreg.com slash weather, and a lot more information over there. Currently in the Mid-South area, things are quiet and dry. Clear skies from St. Francis in Cordova. Not seeing much of any major problems there. Likewise, from the Germantown City, City Hall camera into and around areas around uh, between Cordova and Collierville back across the area there seeing again a little bit of haze this morning but otherwise not bad weather bug cameras available at wreg.com slash webcams for more currently on radar we have little if anything really going on and doubtful we're going to be seeing too much of anything uh, for the course of the rest of the day today and very quiet out across much of the rest of the area right now uh, no rainfall going to be expected so no umbrellas are going to be necessary through Throughout much of the rest of the Mid South. Let's go ahead and get into the forecast and again showing you little, if anything, going on directly at this time into around the Mid-South area. But of course, the main thing we're going to be looking for is that quiet and dry conditions out there. More of our weather bug cameras at wreg.com slash webcams for more. Big weather story of the morning is, of course, what's going on in the tropics. The Atlantic is, again, buzzing this morning with hurricane activity. We see, again, Katya in the Gulf of Mexico. Jose out a little bit farther past the Leeward Islands, following a pretty close course to what we saw with, again, Irma, but not exactly the same thing there. Katya at this time is a hurricane, but it is not expected to hit the United States. It is going to be more of a problem for Mexico, dropping down toward the southeastern coast of, the Uni of Mexico, right off the Bay of Campeche, and beyond that, just not the much expected there. Jose is expected to be more of a problem for Bermuda than anything else else, it's expected to curve upwards and to the northwest, avoiding the Bahamas and other places that have been hit scrape toward the Leeward Islands, but that's going to be about it. And that could be a problem again toward the area around Bermuda into the next few days, toward the middle part, end part of next week as a hurricane. Could become a major hurricane possible uh, into the area the next couple of days. That's category three and above but otherwise not picking up again a lot of major activity with that. Uh, we'll continue to watch that for right now. Of course, the big weather story of the day is, of course, Irma. This one, a Category 4 now this morning. Winds are about 155 miles per hour, so it's just below a Category 5, and hopefully we'll be staying that way. Unfortunately, right over the Grand, uh, Grand Bahamas between there, Cuba and Key West, there's a ton of very warm water. We're talking like bathtub temperatures, so it's going to be very very warm. That's conducive to keep hurricanes strong, and that is exactly what we do not need. So we could use a little bit of help in getting rid of that. Very strong storm, very good structure on this. Again, expected to be right over the area of Cuba, uh, just northwest of there. And this thing is a monster buzzsaw that's going to be making its way right into Florida in the course of the next couple of days. Now, we're not seeing anything out of this where it comes to radar from Penn State University, the meteorology group showing a few showers out into the Gulf of Mexico. Not part of Irma, but just some scattered showers out there. Beyond that, we don't have anything going on. We've got some very nice high pressure across the Mid-South, and that's going to keep things very nice and dry. So no problems being seen across the Mid-South area 
as we go into the weekend. Outdoor plans, keep them. You have nothing to worry about at this time. So very quiet across the area when it comes to anything involving uh, nice conditions with hurricanes. Uh, not seeing any problems for us right now, but we will be looking for more potential of some rainfall as we go into around next week. Main thing we're going to be looking for today is going to begin be the possibility of some very dry conditions out there, and we'll continue that way into the rest of the weekend. Highs today back in the 80s, lows tonight back in the 50s. Friday night football could be a little brisk out there this evening with temperatures dropping into the lower 60s by the time game time is over with. So that could be something to take a look at as you head the next few days. A lot of people keeping an eye on Irma, including the amateur radio operators. That is, again, something that we're going to continue to monitor uh, from that area. Some problems with that solar storm striking our atmosphere, causing some uh, communications impedance, but we are listening for more information from the American Radio Relay League and the amateur radio operators out there. There is a way that you can send what's called a health and welfare message to areas that have been affected. When all else fails, amateur radio works, and this is a great way to get information in and out of places that no longer have cell phones, satellite signals, or anything else going on. A uh, great way to do that is through the Salvation Army uh, Emergency Services, and this is just one place to do stuff like that. You send a message, it's brief, it just says, you know, how are you doing, what's going on, current status, and whoever's on the other side through that amateur radio operator can send a message back to at least let you know what's going on. You can find out more about this service by going to satern.org, that's Saturn Salvation Army Team Radio Network, a great way to find out more, or go to the American Radio Relay League, and that's at A rrl.org for more information on that. More information on my Facebook page. Again, tons of information available there throughout the rest of the morning. We will be monitoring Irma throughout the rest of the morning into this afternoon and this evening and all the way through the weekend. I'll have more updates on that. And uh, hey, cool, you can see me live. That's me watching me watching me. That's cool. Haven't seen that for a while. Uh, also, again, throughout the rest of the forecast, we also have challenges for Team Read if you'd like to sign up to help people learn more about reading. And also drop by my Twitter page at twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3 also on my youtube channel get more information about what's happening there that earthquake in mexico last night we'll be talking more about that and my complete forecast coming up on the talk back live network bob and josh at the top of the hour seven to nine o'clock this morning with plenty of sports chat all kinds of great information available again at am 730's talk back live or here at talkbacklivenetwork.org if you'd like to know more about that that's at am 730 yahoo sports radio my seven to ten day forecast available at wreg.com slash weather and make certain you stop by Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 throughout the rest of the weekend and we'll keep you updated on that. i got to hop back out on set for more information coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak as we close out the last segment, but we got plenty more coming up online throughout the rest of the day, including live on News Channel 3's Facebook page just past the top of the 7 o'clock hour and throughout the rest of the day we'll be bringing you more updates as well. Thanks for joining us on Periscope, Twitter, and my own Facebook page for early Friday morning. Join us for a lot more on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Email address just above the area there, austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to hear from you and find out what you think about weather overtime, what we can feature here to keep you updated. Please let us know. And stay tuned for more with News Channel 3. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the day with News Channel 3 on air and online.